everyone, this is Minnie, the Shoujo Nut, and today I would like to talk about tips and tricks on how to have and maintain healthy and young looking skin. So a few weeks ago, I went to Vegas with my cousins, and me and one of my cousins was standing in front of an ATM machine. He apparently went out of cash and he had to withdraw more cash. I was just standing there waiting for him when the security guard lady came over to me. She was in her 50s, Chinese, semi-short, and she just went up to me and went, Sweetie, I know this might offend you, but may I see your driver license? How would that offend me? It actually kind of flattered me that she would ask for my driver license. Anyways, I take it out of my purse, I gave it to her, all that good stuff. And she was just like, is this really your real age? And I was like, yeah, that's my age, woo! Then, the most unexpected thing happened. She asked me, how do you get your skin to look that clear and young and smooth and white? And I was just so flabbergasted that this lady would just ask me out of nowhere about my skin. Well, I just told her what I do to have and maintain my skin. And you know what, I thought about it and why not reveal it to you guys? This first tip is not so much a tip, but a lifestyle choice. If you don't complete this first lifestyle choice, but you follow the rest of this video, it still wouldn't matter as much because that's how important this first step is. And it's pretty common sense, but it is definitely crucial to your skincare. And it is to drink lots and lots of water. I would say you should drink at least two liters of water a day. I personally recommend that the moment you wake up, you should drink a glass of water immediately. Not only does it jumpstart your day and your metabolism, but it's just good for your health. I would actually say you should drink that cup of water before you eat breakfast, before you brush your teeth even. But yeah, I would say the most important part of having young, smooth looking skin is to just drink a lot of water. Drink water while you leave the house. Drink water while you're inside the house. Drink water before you go to sleep. Drink water when you wake up. Drink water all the time. I personally drink around three liters of water a day, but that's because I work out a lot and I get super thirsty. But seriously, just drink two liters of water a day and you will see your skin get younger and younger. The second tip I wanna talk about has to do with eating your leafy vegetables. Yes, yes, your greens. Not everyone enjoy it, but there's a lot of leafy vegetables out there and I'm pretty sure you can find one that you like. Like I personally like spinach and kale so I eat those two a lot but maybe you're a broccoli gal or maybe you're a cabbage guy or maybe you like cucumbers. I don't know but whatever you do, if you want your skin to look extra nice, extra shiny, extra young, you definitely should eat your leafy greens. I know a ton of people who only eat meat or like a couple of fruits and well, I have to say a lot of the times their skin is acne prone, pimples, just not that smooth and silky. So those leafy greens actually help a lot in the long run. You don't want to eat meat and meat and meat and then you're 30 and you're like, what happened to my skin? The third and fourth trick I want to talk about are basically ways to maintain that beautiful skin of yours. And believe it or not, the third one is to wear sunscreen. I personally live in Southern California, so it's sunny all the time. So I wear my sunscreen all the time. I would say I wear my sunscreen 80% of the time that I leave the house. But even if you're from a country or even a state in the United States, that doesn't have as much sunlight as Southern California, I would still recommend to wear that sunscreen. Sunscreen basically blocks some of the sunlight from seeping into your skin. Of course, having some sunlight is great for your skin, it's vitamin D and all. But having too much sunlight actually hurts your skin, actually makes it darker, makes it rougher, creates more wrinkles and tan lines, and nobody likes any of that stuff. So I would actually recommend to wear sunscreen all the time. I actually live a couple months in Korea and over there they wear sunscreen all the time and Korea is not even one of the sunniest countries ever. There's a reason when you go to Korea and you see all these girls with snowy white pearly skin. How do they get that snowy white pearly skin? Of course some of it is genetics but actually most of it is from 
the sunscreen. They love their sunscreen over there. You can find sunscreen in any makeup store, skincare store. Sunscreen, sunscreen is the key. Actually, the second thing they wear is what I'm gonna talk about in my fourth trick. And that is BB CC cream. Of course, if you want to go to a nice party, you go to a dinner meeting, you go to a fancy restaurant, you go to a wedding, a funeral, a lot of that indoor kind of parties, you want to wear your liquid foundation. You want to wear your HD powder, you want to wear all that matte stuff. You know, that stuff is for those occasions. You want your skin to look like that. But for most of the time, like myself, when you're just going grocery shopping, going to the library, um, going to get gas, going to the bank, making a phone call. I know some people still do that in England. So all I'm saying is, you know, for your everyday routine, when you're leaving the house, why not switch out that liquid foundation for BB cream or CC cream? BB cream, CC cream is one of the greatest inventions by the Koreans. And there's a reason why. It works as both a foundation and a sunscreen. I have not seen a BB cream that doesn't work as a very, very nice sunscreen. Like, you can look at my skin right now. I'm not using a liquid foundation. I'm using a CC cream. No, actually, I'm using a BB cream. I'm actually using this one right here. This one's very nice and it's very light skin. Because I am... My skincare and my uh, makeup routine is more Korean orientated with a couple of Western influences. So I love using my beef cream and I love using a foundation one shade lighter than my actual, my actual skin tone. But most of the time you should definitely use your own skin tone unless you want it to be a little lighter. But yeah, BB cream is a miracle. You can basically wear moisturizer and BB cream and maybe mascara and you're done. You don't need to do anything else with your skin or your makeup. That's really it. That's how much power BB and CC cream that has. Sometimes I don't even use a concealer or a, bl a blemish remedy because the BB cream, the CC cream actually just fixes that somehow. You can see it on my face right now. I'm using a BB cream. The fifth and last important tip I want to give you guys is about skincare. You might think skincare is only for women, but actually men could use a lot of these tips too. So listen up. I, for some reason in the Western world, we have more of an emphasis on makeup rather than skincare. If you go into a Sephora store, you'll see 80% is makeup, 20% is skincare. Why on Korea, it's actually the opposite. If you go to a makeup store, you will see it's actually 80% skincare, 20% makeup. And maybe it's because I actually do my makeup more of a Korean style with some Western influence rather than the other way around. And I actually really love Korean skin that I actually agree more with the Koreans. I think the philosophy is beautiful. The philosophy is, if you want to look good with makeup, you want to look good without makeup. Basically, if you have an amazing skin, once you put on makeup, you will look even more amazing. I know, right? For some reason, there's just a mentality over here that makeup is supposed to hide who you are, or fix your problems, or, you know, transform you into someone you're not. While in Korea, it's more emphasis on you just have to look really good first, then makeup just enhances it, just make you look even better. It doesn't mean you should change or become someone completely different, you just have to look better. So I actually completely agree with that. I feel skincare is definitely important. Sorry, this is a little long, but please bear with me. Over here when you wear makeup, how do you remove makeup? Basically, you use a makeup wipe or a makeup remover, right? But that does not help your skin at all. Basically, makeup wipes or makeup remover just removes your makeup. You're just leaving your skin uncared for, which is unacceptable. Instead, what you should do, which I actually learned in Korea myself, is you need to use something called a cleansing oil. I don't know if you can see it. No, I don't think so, but it's a cleansing oil. It's basically, um, it's basically a cleanser that removes all the makeup that you can't see. So with a makeup remover, you make up, you remove most of the makeup you can't see, but there is actually some makeup you can't see still in your skin. So by using a cleansing oil, you can remove those excess makeup that's still lingering on your skin that you can't see. I highly recommend everyone doing this if they're wearing makeup. Again, good for you if you don't wear makeup. Props to you. But even if you don't wear makeup, and for guys too, 
you should use something like this. I don't know if you can see it, but it's basically a foam cleanser of some type. I, I got this one in Korea, but over here they sell foam cleansers all the time. Basically, it's a cleansing that when you wash on your face, it comes out in this foamy, <laughs> fun substance. I enjoy it a lot. But basically guys, you should cleanse your skin too. Use this foam cleanser, clean your skin after, you know, a hard day at work. And for women, after you take off your makeup, definitely use it. After that, this is a very good trick. A lot of people talk about this, but I am gonna emphasize it even more. Exfoliate. This I personally use is the Skin Food Black Sugar Exfoliate. You can actually get this in the US. There are skin foods in the US, but this is a Korean brand. I bought mine in Korea. You can use any kind of exfoliate. Exfoliate basically gets rid of dead skin. And what's the best way to make your skin all young and beautiful? Is to have more new skin. And of course, you always get more new skin even if you don't get rid of your dead skin. But it's so much better when you can get rid of your dead skin and reveal your new skin. Yay, it's like reptile skin. No, that was a bad remark to make. Point is, always exfoliate. And never exfoliate every day. That's just too much for your skin. You might want to exfoliate every three days, every four days. Heck, even if you exfoliate once a week, it will change your skin forever. And again, this is for men and women. Last but not least, even when you exfoliate your skin, you should definitely use some kind of cream or product that moisturizes, that nourishes your skin. When you, before you sleep, I always tend to put on this, which is, you might not see it, but it's Laneige's, Lin, Laneige, sorry, Laneige's Water Sleeping Pack. I got this in Korea, but it's probably available in the US and other countries. But it's basically a sleeping mask, a sleeping cream before you sleep. What it does is it hydrates, nourishes your skin while you, you sleep. It's like the best thing ever because you really don't need to do anything. You just apply it before you sleep and it does all the, the work. Basically, how amazing would it be if you wake up and your skin is all like beautiful already? All hydrated, all nourished, it's great. But even with that, you should definitely use some kind of moisturizer in the morning too. Basically, I am currently using Clinique's Revitalizing Moisturizer. It's actually pretty nice, but you can get lower-end products with moisturizer or you can get a Korean product with moisturizer. The point is, you should always put on moisturizer before you wear makeup anyways. Even if you don't wear makeup, you should definitely put on moisturizer. It just helps moisturize the skin the rest of the day. What use is it if you drink a lot of water, you moisturize while you sleep or not moisturize during the day? During the day is when you're more prone to dry skin. Look at all the wind, look at all the sunlight, you know. Definitely use it and absolutely use it if you're wearing makeup because makeup can really dry your skin. This is an extra tip, but a lot of us has kind of have black circles under our eyes or it's lacking in water. Basically, what you can use is an eye cream and this one is my Innisfree Echo Science eye cream. I got this in Korea. You can get eye cream anywhere. I actually own an eye cream from Lancome, but basically eye creams really help that area around your eyes. That area that's more prone to dryness, that gets darker. You want to do that so then you know, your eyes will liven up. You should definitely use eye cream before you go to sleep. But you can also use it in the morning, in the middle of your makeup routine. It's just extra useful, extra nice for your eyes. You, your eyes will love you for it. Speaking of eyes, this is one tiny little trick I want to reveal to you guys. And it is mostly for the ladies, but if guys don't mind you doing makeup, why not? In Korea and Japan, they do their eye makeup. I think it's fabulous. Each to their own. But the point is, in order to look younger, you want your eyes to look bigger. Babies have gigantic eyes. And the reason is because your eyes don't change over your lifetime. You're born with a certain size, and as a baby, your head is smaller, you know, you're smaller, then your eyes look bigger. But as you get older, your eyes look smaller because, you know, you get bigger. So your eyes maintain the same shape, they maintain the same size throughout your life. But babies just look so much younger because they have these gigantic eyes. Toddlers, children, they have gigantic eyes. So this trick is mostly for women again, but men can do it too if they want. 
and that is to make your eyes look bigger. Making your eyes look bigger actually makes you look younger. And that is a great trick for Asians such as myself. We have such small eyes. I especially have small eyes. I'm Vietnamese, but Vietnamese girls have gigantic eyes. I just happen to have small eyes. But most of the time, people can't tell I have small eyes because, you know, I do something to make my eyes look bigger. So, there are ways to make your eyes look bigger. Maybe I'll do a whole video on how to make your eyes look bigger. But basically, if you can make your eyes look bigger through makeup, you just definitely look younger. And it will just look nice and shiny and beautiful and dark and pretty with the rest of your skin. So yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy all those tips and tricks. Hi again everyone, I hope you guys enjoy my first tips and tricks video. It's actually unscripted. I woke up this morning and decided, hey, let's just talk about this topic. So I hope you guys can subscribe, comment, like, and let me know what topic you guys would like me to talk about next. And with that, I'll eye hug you next time.